Everybody hates these trampoline bosses after 11 people broke their backs. They will go to jail. David Shuttleworth and Matthew Melling have found themselves in some hot water after a courtroom drama at Chester Crown Court. These guys, both 33 years old, faced some serious scary charges related to health and safety offenses at trampoline parks. But wait, here's where the story takes a twist. The real heroes in this tale are the brave visitors who suffered life-changing injuries, like Lisa Jones, who suffered a back fracture and burst vertebrae after leaping into a foam pit. And we can't forget Lucy Jones, who thought a fun night at the trampoline park would end with her being rushed to the hospital with a broken back. Or George McGraw, who also had a spine-shattering experience while jumping off the same tower. But now the big question is, what happens to the folks responsible for these accidents? David and Matthew, guilty of failing to prevent visitors from getting hurt, could face up to two years behind bars and some hefty fines. Justice is served. These charges stem from an investigation into an unbelievable 270 known accidents over seven weeks between December 2016 and February 2017. That's a lot of pain and suffering. Lisa Jones, one of the survivors, said, I'm glad they faced court actions because I could have been left paralyzed. These trampoline parks might seem safe with their rules, but the truth is, danger can strike at any time. George McGraw's story is another shocker. He had to undergo grueling surgery to replace his shattered vertebrae with a metal disc. In the first four months the park was open, ambulance crews were there almost once a week. That's a lot of injuries. And things got so bad that the hospital had to have a sit-down with the park bosses. David Shuttleworth and Matthew Melling have left quite the mess in their wake. They've quit their roles, and the company they were with has been dissolved. So much for safety, right? Personal injury lawyers are swamped with calls from people who've experienced severe injuries. Trampoline parks might be fun, but when things go wrong, they go very, very wrong. We hope this story serves as a reminder that when you're having fun, the last thing you want is an unexpected trip to the hospital. Stay safe, everybody.